This is a relatively short video, similar to the last video we are, where we are going to use the first order modified approximation. We derived that formula in the last video. The goal is to estimate a percent change in bond price with that first order modified approximation when the Macaulay duration is given. It's a pretty similar problem. We're not going to derive the formula in this video, we'll just use it. So we have here a 20 year bond priced at an annual effective yield of 10%. And we're also given that the Macaulay, Macaulay duration is 11. We're going to need the modified duration, however. It's understood that that would be 11 years. To throw a little bit of a curve ball you in the next sentence here, immediately after the bond is priced, something happens. The market yield rate changes. It increases by 0.25%. Now, when I read that, I thought probably what they meant was that it would go from 10% up to 10.25%. And that is indeed the understanding of what's going on here based on the possible answers and based on, in fact, the actual answers, actual answer in the answer key. In reality, however, that's a little bit of a, a uh, little bit misleading. It's really what you would call an increase of 0.25 percentage points rather than a 0.25 percent increase. Let's think of an analogy here with a simpler case. If the, if the, per, uh, percent yield on the bond went from 10% up to 11%, that's actually a 10% increase in the yield rate. 1% is 10% of 10%. However, more typically this is called a 1 percentage point increase, okay? Going from 10 to 11 or from 8 to 9 or from 4 to 5. Percentage point increase is the technical way you should say it. So that's what they really meant there. They should have called it a 0.25 percentage point increase. And if you weren't sure in doing so, trying to solve the problem, you would become more sure in seeing what the answers were, hopefully. And that's what happened when I looked at, that, looked at this problem. The bond's approximate percentage price change, and this is an actual percentage price change, using this first order modified approximation is x, and the goal is to calculate x. Okay, so we just use the formula from the last video. Uh, the approximation can be written that the price at yield rate i is approximately the price at yield rate i0 minus i minus i0, which is the change in the interest rate, you could call that delta i, times the price at yield rate i0 times the modified duration at yield rate i0. You could also factor out the p of i0 out of this and write it in this way, like this. And um, I'm going to do something different from both of these in this video. I'm going to take this form of it and I'm going to subtract p of i0 from both sides. p of i minus p of i0, which you could call delta p, change in the price, is approximately negative delta i times uh, the price at yield rate I0 times the modified duration. And in fact, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to divide both sides of this now by P of I0. Why am I doing this? Because when I do this, this ratio here, delta P, the change in the price divided by the price at yield rate I0, that expression represents what I want to find, the percent price change, the relative price change. This thing right here is the percent or relative price change. So all I need, need to do now is approximate that by taking negative of the change in I times the modified duration at I0. It should be an I0 right there. Okay, that's all I need to use. Of course, I need to find the modified duration. I'm given the Macaulay duration. So we need to use the relationship between the modified duration and the Macaulay duration. Let's go ahead and plug in I0 here, which is 0.1. The modified duration is the Macaulay duration, d mac of 0.1 in this case, divided by 1 plus I0, which is 1 plus 0.1. We're given that the Macaulay, Macaulay duration is 11. We're dividing 11 by 1.1. We're going to get a modified duration of 10. And again, the assumption is this is in years. You don't have to put the years there to solve the problem, but I will emphasize that the units of time here for these durations would be in years. And again, delta i uh, is going to be 
I minus I zero is going to be 0 0.1025, just like I said. It's going to increase from 10% to 10.25%. As a decimal, that would be 0 0.1025 minus 0.1. Delta I is 0 0.0025. Go ahead and just plug these numbers in now. This becomes negative 0 0.0025 times the modified duration, which is 10. Multiply that, you're going to get negative 0 0.025 which is negative 2.5%. And that is the answer to the question to calculate X, which is the percent price change. And we didn't need the price. We didn't even need the fact that it's a 20 year bond. So a few different curveballs thrown at you in this problem, but it's a fairly short problem once you see what to do.